Hello, this is Organization with Olu. Today we're going to calculate the inflation rates using the CPI method. So stick around. I think you're going to like what I've got for you. Right now, what I'm going to do is share my screen. Okay, guys, we're just going to go straight into my notebook here. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to calculate inflation, inflation rates using the consumer price index. Please go back to the previous video and, and I, I went over the consumer price index and I went over what weighting is. Please go over that before you do this. OK, so I'm going to assume here that you do understand why index, index numbers are used. OK, we use index numbers as economists simply for simplification rather than having these long, awkward numbers. We use index numbers. OK, and that normally is represented by 100. So it's much easier to compare things, okay? So let me just make this a, a bit bigger. Just take this out. Okay, good. Some of the key facts we need we need, we need to work out um, is we use a base year, and the base year is simply a year of comparison. And it makes perfect sense to, to have a year of comparison. If you want to say something has gone up in terms of the price level has gone up, what are you comparing it to? So you need to compare it to something. So the base year simply equals the year of comparison. We start off with 100 because we're going to use an index number. We start off 100 with 100, okay? Weighted index reflects the percentage of spending, okay, which we're going to go through. So let's go through this first, okay? The first thing you need to do is determine the base year. Now, we're trying to calculate the inflation rates of 2021. You can choose any base year. But normally, logic will apply, will follow. You normally choose a, the base year that makes a lot of sense. In this case, 2020, the previous year, makes sense. So we're going to use this as, as the base year. So let's just fill this in. Remember, the base year starts using up from 100. So we need to fill it in. We need to fit, determine the base year, and then you fill it in. Okay? So that's 100, 100, 100 and a hundred okay so make sure you, you know you know what that is first okay be very comfortable with the base year first and then we can work from there the next thing we need to do is complete the price index for the base year okay which we've done then sum of 2021 prices times the weighting okay now this is this this is gone this is these are the prices price index of 2021 as you can see, food and drink is 102. What this means is that it's gone up by 2%. It was 2000, in 2020, it was 100. Now it's gone up to 102. Therefore, it's gone up by 2%. Prices have increased by 2%, generally across, across the board. Okay, When they've located different, gone to different locations, they've, on average, they, find, they found out that the price has gone up by 2%. That's what this means. Have a look at this one, 110. That means transport has gone up by 10%, maybe due to the fact that we're having problems with oil prices, for example. And that's gone up substantially, so that's quite a lot, okay? Uh, pet food, 99, that means it's gone down by 1%. If you compare it to the previous year, the base year, it's gone down by 1%, okay? Then the next thing we need to do, to know the impact of inflation, you really need to know the weighting. And it makes, if you think about it, it makes perfect sense. If you look at this, the weighting, for example, of transportation, that's 50, and we're using 100. So that's 50% of your, of your income that you use for, um, for goods and services. 50% of that goes on transport. That is substantial. So if there's an increase in the rates of inflation in regards to transportation, it's going to have a significant effect on inflation in the economy. Because you're going to have to spend a lot more money to purchase an Oyster card, a lot more money to fill up your tank. So it's very, very important. So this is the weighted index. Sometimes it's over a thousand, but it's either a hundred or a thousand just for simpli simplification. So if you get a thousand, don't panic. You just simply, we'll talk about what you need to do here. We just divide it by a thousand rather than a hundred. Okay. So once you've done that, so this would be given to you normally. You would normally get this. Um, and then you the next stage will be divide by the sum of the weights which is 100 so what you want to do you want to multiply the sum of 2021 prices times the weights so 102 times 20 will be 2040 
and so on and so forth. 50 times 110 would be 5,500. Okay, so you multiply it, take time in multiplying it, make sure you get it right. So then you add it up. So it should be 10,430. Okay, so once you've done that, what it says is divided by the sum of weights, which is 100. So it's 10,430 divided by 100. So let's do that. Okay, let's do that here. So 10,430 divided by 100. And that will be equal to 104.30. And what does that mean? What this simply means is that the prices has, has gone up by 4.30%. So the inflation rate using the CPI method, we've worked it out to be 4.30%. Okay. It's as simple as that, guys. It's not harder than this. And your A-level questions will really not be any more complicated than this. Just need to take your time, make sure you understand the base here. And make sure your, your calculations are correct. Just follow the structure here and you're going to be smashing it. So what I'm going to give you now, I'm going to give you a, an example uh, and a problem. I want you to actually, well, this is an example. I want you to actually work, work out the problem I'm going to give you. Try it. Have a go at, at doing it. So this, this is the problem I'm going to give you. Practice question. Let me open it up. So I want you to try this yourself, okay? And notice here, the weighted index is actually up to 1,000. So that should not worry you. You just simply divide it by 1,000. If you follow the structure, you just simply divide it by 1,000. So you need to work this out. The price index, practice question on weighted index determining the 2017 inflation rates rates using, using, let's put a big couple of S here, rates using CPI. Okay, use 2016 as the base year. So, you know, this is the base year. So, you fill that in. Okay. And then 2017 price, the price index times weights. Obviously, you're going to times this, times this, and you're going to fill this in. Again, take your time. Make sure you got it right. Okay. So, you fill it all in. Okay. Everyone here should be filled in. And then you obviously have to then follow the structure and you'll be able to determine the inflation rate for 2017 using the CPI method. Remember there's one or two other methods, but using the CPI method, we can determine the inflation rates, okay? So hopefully this has been useful for you. We're gonna do a lot more of this and you're gonna be smashing economics, okay? If you follow the channels, you're gonna be following my channel, you're gonna be smashing economics because I'm gonna cover a lot of a lot of things and go into the fi finer details to ensure that you're going to um, get very high grades, okay? So please like, share, and subscribe, okay? I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.